Mark Tucker's Automotive Shops in Lincoln County, Tennessee. We came prepared. We got some cash in a trailer, hoping we go home with something. Well, Plymouth Satellite. This was in pretty good shape, too. If we get a Mopar, we're going top shelf. Something like this. 1970 Challenger RT, one of the most desirable sought after muscle cars in the world. We're homeward bound with what promises to be our most exciting project ever. Well, we made it back to the shop in one piece with our newly acquired 70 Challenger. Some of this won't be reused, but a lot of it will, and you don't want to accidentally destroy a piece that can't be bought, especially you resto guys. This fuel cap is an iconic Mopar tidbit that we want to take really good care of. <laughs> Oops, just a few screws is all it takes for removal. Good deal, saved it. The K member and everything attached to it comes out. And to make that happen, my favorite tool, here you go. Why are you handing it to me if it's your favorite tool? Now we can move on to the rear suspension. Well, we got it on the rotisserie, so now we can roll it out and make a short trip to the blaster. You know, I'm gonna miss this Go Mango paint. Anything that's left over, the air hammer can make quick work of it. Our new A pillar is installed. Pretty excited about the whole deal. What do you guys think? Perfect. Go ahead and get on up top. That's pretty good. Just need a clamp. This is what we'll be using to give that Dodge 21st century handling. It's a G-Machine chassis from Schwartz Performance.
We sprayed the body with red oxide epoxy primer. Well, we got our transmission in place, so that means we got a plenty big enough hole. We got just the right amount of clearance. Now I need to do some tin work to patch up that hole. We grabbed some 18 gauge steel and tossed it into the slip roller to make a new one. Okay, well, let's load the stuff up and head them on and get them out. Yes, sir. Where are we going? I'm going this, this way. way. Now for the moment of truth. We need to use the hood to position the shaker assembly on the top of the engine. Once we get everything in place, it will tell us just how extensively we need to modify the base plate to make everything work. All right, we're getting ready to prep the Carolina Violet paint that was custom mixed by our friends at Single Source in Nashville. We decided on Carolina Violet. It's getting painted in South Carolina, so why not? Now the clear coat can be laid down. And after three coats, voila. We get this thing out in the sun and that Carolina Violet really pops. And those graphics that we duplicate the rendering, they look like they could have came straight out of a 70s Mopar with just a little bit of a twist. I think the car came out awesome. I love the updated look of a classic Mopar. Time to do a little 
shakedown run just to get her broken in, right? Even with completely unadjusted suspension, she's already light years ahead of where the handling would have ever been on this car from the factory.